We haven't even watched a film yet. Sorry. I don't like watching films on Film Friday. Then why do you always say Film Friday? Just to remind you. <laughs> remind me for what reason? Uh, it's like a comedy show, you and I. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stop banging into me. G. 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 Oh, I'm gonna take over. Can you scooch over a little bit? No, oh. you touching me. No. Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Give me! We are, we are giggly today. Yeah. Giggly. Okay, so let's get started. It's gonna be a quick one. Um. So. <laughs> quick one. This is um. Sorry, I keep getting messages from all the devices. Um. This is actually something that. Wait, hang on a second. Something for every level and what i mean by level is age level um well i guess skill level too if you're advanced there's nothing wrong with doing this as well it hones yeah. your skills a little bit if you are a beginner um it's really good practice um in just learning how to do what we call observational drawing so um skull can you hang on just for one second please okay i just don't want you to wrinkle them Hey, you can look at them, but I don't want you to wrinkle them. Yeah. Um, for most um, beginner or our little artists, um, this is a really good practice in just uh, oh. dexterity, right? Um, hey. Holding their drawing utensil as well as looking and observing what they're looking at, the reference, and then trying to replicate it. So, um, Basically, we're pro focusing on drawing practice today, okay? Um, one of the most common, most of you guys know that I um, am a private art tutor. Not right now, unfortunately, but <laughs> I know. I miss everyone. I know, I miss everyone too, especially my students. But one of the most common questions I get and requests for um, any of my students is for me to mentor them and teach them and help them figure out how to draw what they're looking at. And a lot of people want to know, how do I make, how do I draw or paint um, something that looks exactly the way either the photo does or the still life, the life subject, whatever it might be. Um, photo, um, the word I'm looking for. Um, realistic painting and drawing is what my background is in and so a lot of people will ask me about that. It starts with literally learning how to slow down and look and really see. Where, 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 where are you going? <laughs> um, to get your chapstick. I don't, okay, good luck with that. Don't fall out of the chair. Um, so we're gonna kind of do that today, and that's why I say it's multiple levels are, are able, you're able to do this using multiple um, skill levels as well as age, age groups, okay? Um, so we're gonna do this a couple different ways, depending on one, what your skill level is, and two, just maybe what your desired outcome is. Um, we are basically going to practice drawing and replicating um, a reference if you are more advanced, you are going to take that reference and instead of maybe necessarily replicating it, you are going to extend the drawing. So at the end of the last uh, Wednesdays, at the end of last... <laughs> Tony, Tony and Bella say this is the Cole and Lisa show. Oh, heavens. Um, so anyway, you got enough on there? Stop! You're making me lose my concentration. Stop! Okay. You're making me laugh. Okay. Happy tears, too. Happy tears, yes, yes, yes. Um, so anyways, um, if you <laughs> listened Wednesday, I asked you to bring in something, and now I lost my little gecko. He's way over there. But I asked you to get something like a magazine um, either like a critter or it could be a picture of you or a friend um, or just like a magazine, um, like an animal or a character of some kind. So um, if you have that and that's what you want to do, if that's where you feel like you want to take this, then grab those really quickly. I got a cute little parrot here <laughs> and a 
Dolphin. <laughs> Dolphin. Um, if you want to start at kind of like the skill um, that's like, like the most basic, of course you do, um, which is where Cole is going to start. Although actually I'm going to, I'm going to make Cole start at kind of the mid level. Um, then all you're really going to need is either a piece of paper or if you saw earlier today, um, I posted in my art activities folder on my Facebook page. I um, posted a couple of things that look sort of like this. Um, I don't remember which ones that I did, but um, you could have printed those out for if you didn't have what you needed in terms of this kind of reference from Tio. So, like I said, we're going to kind of do this in multiple levels here. Um, so, the most basic, basic level would be something like this, where you have a sheet of paper and you have half of some drawing, right? Buddy, nobody, oh, geez, this kid loves to be on camera. Um, so if you have something like this, grab this. And you want it to only be halfway finished. If you have a drawing that's full way finished, I'm going to ask that you actually fold it in half or even cut it in half um, or fold it in half and tape it down to a blank piece of paper. You are going to do, this is the most, the basic form of um, observational drawing. And this is kind of, this is what we call symmetry drawing. And it's the easiest to do. You're quite literally mirroring what you see, okay? Um, the mid-range, which is where I'm going to have Cole start, is if you have something and you've already got it kind of colored in where it's got some um, details attached to it, um, I want you to start with that. And I want it to be in half again. Obviously, these don't match. These are multiple um, different options. Um, and I want you to either fold it in half and tape it down to a blank piece of paper like that, um, or cut it if you're gutsy enough to cut it. Um, it's, it doesn't really matter, but the idea is that you are going to then extend this, but you are going to mm -hmm. still go along with the same kind of concept that these people are going to be doing. They just don't have any color in theirs. Okay. I'm going to request that Colmar start with color. Um, because he's, he can do this. He can definitely do this. All right. And again, this is still observational. This is still something that requires you to practice your looking and seeing skills and observing. That is how you replicate, no matter if it's in pencil, charcoal, or paint, you are constantly looking back and forth between your reference material and where you're actually, um, putting your illustration down. Okay. So that is the middle kind of range. All right. If you are doing the one where you have a little piece of either a photograph yeah. or uh, something, I, like I said, we just cut these out of magazines, Yeah. Um, then I want you to, like, you can see that I only included half of the critters here. I want you to do that. I want you to cut it in half. Cut part of it out. And you will then um, glue it down to the paper somehow. So let's say, hold on a second. So you're going to end up gluing it down. And then I'll explain to you what you're going to do for a second um, in a minute there. Okay. So what you need is either some kind of drawing reference material, yeah. uh, one of these kinds, or the printed out ones that I posted earlier. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> it, was an owl. it was an owl. Thanks. And then you'll need um, a this, blank sheet of paper. If you are. If you are drawing um, on one of them that I posted uh, earlier, you can just print that out and you can draw right on it, right? You can draw literally right over here. And it's even got, some of them even have the grid marks on them. I don't remember which ones I posted, okay? Otherwise, you just need a piece of paper and um, pencil. I would suggest either a pencil with an eraser or have an eraser, right? Because if you're trying to replicate, chances are you're going to make mistakes. That's fine. Um, that's why this is just a little just drawing practice. And then if, hold on one second, and then when you color, um, some kind of colored pencils is probably the easiest um, to to color with. All right, go ahead and ask the question or whatever while I get just the glue stick. In, just in case your lips are, need to be chapped. Need to be chapped? Are chapped? chapped? Are chapped. I, yeah, I, okay. I don't really think that that's necessary for this drawing, but you can definitely use it. You are my child. You like to have smooth lips. <laughs> All right. So, um, Colmar, now you have three options. I said I suggested you start with one of these three guys that are already colored in, or you can do one of these two things. You want to do one of these? All right. Do you want to do the dolphin? 
or the parrot? Parrot. Parrot? All right. I would like you, with your blank sheet of paper, I want you to glue it down anywhere you want on here. Now consider and think about what you are going to do, what you're going to draw after. Like you see that this is a, a branch, right? You can put it wherever you want. Here's your glue stick. Let's put the chapstick out of the way. This is um, an activity I did when I first, very first started teaching. I taught the middle school art level. And uh, this is an activity that I would do as a warm up every day. Uh, I had some, a tough group of kids, pretty rough crowd and it's hard to even get them corralled and this was actually a really good one because it's they don't realize they think they're just kind of sketching things out and they think they're cheating because they are quote unquote copying um but they're actually practicing their observational skills and it was a really good improvement and it doesn't take long as i said this is going to be a really quick one we're not going to sit here and show you everything that cole is going to draw um but it goes pretty quick and it's a fun one to just practice. I really like, this is the kind of one that you can have just sit around. You can be sitting around watching TV and you can do it. Um, and the, again, you'll be practicing your, that blew off there. Uh, you'll be practicing your observational skills. All right. So Cole, if he, he chose to do the, the harder one. Okay. So I'm going to explain what you're going to do then for, for each one. So again, if you are choosing this version, or this version, either one of these, you are going to try and draw, extend this drawing so that it completes it. You're gonna complete this drawing. So the idea is that you wanna really pay close attention to the details that are on the given side, what's called your reference material, and you wanna to try to extend those out to try to match. Most of these that I chose were, um, true symmetry, meaning they're gonna be pretty darn close the same, um, if not exactly the same on both sides. So you'd wanna extend this out. So the reason why sometimes people will, especially beginning um, artists will um, graph out their drawings is because then you can count. Um, this is actually one of the things I've been doing with some of my students, even my adult students, but um, I'll have them graph out so they can see in this box, box number one, box number two, and then however many it is from the top or the bottom, box number one, box number two, you're gonna put this information, the same exact, into that matching corresponding box. So the idea is that when you folded it and you folded over the top, you get the exact same thing. That's why it's called symmetry. Symmetry means same or mirror image, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you're doing that, you're gonna draw right on here and you're gonna to try to extend it. If you're doing this one, you are going to, with a blank sheet of paper, right? You are going to do the same thing, but you're just doing, you're adding a little bit more color. So you're going to add in some shading and you're going to try to match the color. The matching color can be the hard a really, really difficult part. But again, all you're doing is you're working on observation. Observation means look at and then try to draw it. Look at, try to draw. Go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Try not to let your brain get you too mixed up. Try not to think, oh, well, I think that it's uh, purple, but really it's, you know, orange. Go in and really look at what you're looking no, at. Or not. that sometimes our brain will say, oh, no, I think it's swirling the opposite direction. No, it actually is going the other way. Or there's two swirls, whatever. No, no, I know. I was just giving an example. Okay, so you are, for these two, you are just replicating. What Cole's going to do, because he decided to go above and beyond. Hey, I didn't know. That's about. fantastic. I love it. You love a challenge. He glued his parrot down. So what he is going to do is instead of replicate or do a symmetry drawing, right? A symmetry drawing would be that then the exact same thing would be over here. He is going to try to use the details he sees it already existing in his parrot. And he is going to extend. This is, the, this is an extension, literally and figuratively. It's an extension of this activity because it's called extension drawing. You're taking an image that's already there and you're extending it. You guys over here are extending it, but you're extending it to look the same. Cole has to use his imagination and the reference material to then extend it. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna try to draw the remainder of the parrot. He's gonna extend this out all the way. He can put something on here like another little bird 
or he could choose to make it really, really silly. Maybe this parrot, maybe this parrot, maybe his, the backside of him looks like an airplane. I don't know. That's up to you. You get to decide if you want it to be silly or if you want it to be serious. But the idea serious. is that you, you want it to be serious. The idea is he's going to extend it out just like you guys are if you're doing this one. Okay. If you are doing this, I encourage you use your imagination as much as you possibly can. All right. There's no wrong answer unless you, on this one, you know, you're trying to do symmetry. If you draw a butterfly on the other side, that's not right. And you're not using this reference material to actually hone your drawing skills. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Do you have a question for me or them? Oh, just a kiss. Thank you. Even better. It's better than a question. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to put this down a little bit so that you guys can kind of watch what he's doing. All right. Okay. I'm going to scoot you over so you can be on camera. All right. So do you understand what you're doing? First things first. These out of the way. First things first. You um, are going to try to draw. You color afterwards. You draw whatever you want. Extend out yep. however you want. Mm -hmm. you see that? Okay. I'll kind of go along with what they are probably going to do. Should they do a butterfly? Probably, huh? Because you know Mama loves butterfly. I don't know. I kind of digging this pig right here. He's crazy cute. see more of what he's doing. There you go. Done. Okay, well that's only that part. Now you got to draw, um, I would extend this out it's a perch so i would maybe try to put something else on the perch and use your imagination of what the rest of the scene would look like what do you think the rest of that scene would would look like um the rest of the scene would be um, is he in the city is he in a forest is he in a, a forest. cabin is forest. he at the doctor's office forest. are you sure yeah. okay so then draw some things that you think look like forest and then you can begin coloring I'm going to kind of walk everybody through what I'm doing here. I'm doing this so I remember um, to do it. Okay. This is a butterfly. Yeah. yeah. All right. So really quick, I'm going to jump in here to, okay. So I know it's in pencil, um, but this is kind of what I'm talking about with the symmetry. So if you can see, I'm using the same boxes, um, counting over from the center line. Your center line or your symmetry line is this line right here, right? this middle line. And you're gonna count over. So like with the eyes, it overlaps a little bit here where these boxes come together. So that symmetry, the same one on the opposite side would be about right here. 
Okay, and then you just keep drawing all the little pieces and all you got to do is kind of count the boxes over and then just figure out where to kind of go from there. So that's kind of where I've started just so you can see. Okay. All right. So Cole looks like he's uh, um, got a good handle. Can I show everybody? Mm -hmm. what, what do you think about putting somebody on a little perch there? Like a little friend for him to talk to? No. no? Okay. Too all right. So here's Cole's so far and I know he only did it in pencil. Sorry. Let me bring it back a little bit. Here we go. So there's his scene so far. Hey. There's his little forest. Um, I'm going to suggest after he goes through and colors this to try to have him do a little bit more. Now the tricky part is since you have color in this, you need to take your colored pencils and you need to try to, this back part, you need to try to match this color. So tell me what this main color is that you see. What's the first color you're going to grab? Dark green. Dark green. Okay. Does this green look more blue green or does it look more yellow green? Looks more dark. Dark, like dark, dark blue in it, or dark yellow? Uh, more dark bluish. Does it? Okay. Then you would. I. I don't think it does. I think it looks a little bit more what we call a warm green. But okay. That's okay. It, okay. This part might be a little bit, but this is a warm green. You grabbed what's called olive green. Olive has more yellow in it, therefore it's a warm green. No, that's correct. Look, hold that up to it. Hold that right up to it. That's a pretty close match. Oh, yeah. So what that means is you'll probably end up having to add a little bit of yellow in there into the, the um, feathers to try to make it match. But I want you to try to color in and try to match that color exactly. Okay. His foot right here. I don't even know what this is. What do you think? That's his foot, maybe? His little hoof? Yeah, it's his foot. All right. Mom, you're being very good. At well, you know, thanks. I've done this a few times. 10 hundred million. 10 hundred million, is that right? I don't even know, but I just feel like it's 10 hundred million. And then. I am also going to add a little bit of red because you know I love red. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's my little symmetry drawing. Whoa, how are you already doing? Looks like I made this arm a little fat. It's like he's got a cast on. So I just go back in and erase it a little bit and then, and then you would color it in. All right, so the, basically that is when I am drawing something and I want it to reference um, exactly, I quite literally go back and forth and look, look, look. It's always about looking. All right. So now let's show them real quick. I'm sure they can probably see it. Can you see how this is a little bit lighter? You do a really good job um, going between colors. So now if this is a little bit darker, if this is darker than what this is, what color do you think we need to add to make this a little bit darker? Brown. Yeah, try either one of those browns. See which one works. That one might not be dark enough, but we can try it. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Yeah, so that helps it. Is that the darker one? Yeah. So that helps it a little bit. Let me move you over a little bit. You good? So while you're drawing, see who if anybody is still on. I don't know if Miss 
Um, There's a lot of people on. But I don't know if um, if Miss um, Charlotte from your uh, preschool, her mom was watching for a little bit, and she says Charlotte says hi. Hi, Charlotte. Um, Bella says hello. Hi, Bella. I'm not sure if, if they are still on or not, but hi. um, you're you are drawing. You're doing a really good job of trying to match those colors. So, um, yeah, you just keep on going with that. Basically, you guys, that is it. Um, I said it was going to be a really easy one today. Um, I'm trying to, like I said, vary things a little bit, um, different levels, because I know we have a lot of little artists, um, new artists, I should say. Little doesn't have anything to do with it, because you're a pretty good artist, but you're pretty little. So, um, trying to vary the different little levels. Little artists. Little artists. So um, I'm going to just show them your progress really quick. So here's where Cole is starting to, he's trying to match. So we know he needs to probably add a little bit more dark, mm -hmm. um, but he's going to keep on, keep on going to try to make that, that parrot look, look realistic. Okay, um, a little bit, um, I'm going to add a different color. So that's it. Um, I have no idea what we're going to do on Monday yet. Um, usually over the weekend, Cole and I just have a discussion and we go through some of the stuff he's done before or wants to try and we'll figure it out. So um, I will try my best to post things, but um, hopefully you got something out of this one. Again, a very, very simple activity, but something that gets asked of me a lot, um, the kind of reference material. So um, practice, always just practice drawing find anything um if you want to practice these observational skills um set up something in on a table in front of you and just get a piece of paper out and look at it and try to draw it try to figure it out try to shade it the way it looks so that it looks three-dimensional or start 3d 3d so Shape. or try to start like that this very I simple 2d a spear, a, cinder, a cube and a cone Bye, you want to say goodbye to everybody, yeah. So bye, 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 hope you have a bye, great bye, weekend. Bye, 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 b